Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, hello. Welcome back to our English class with Teacher Yad. How are you today? I hope you are doing fine. We are still in Unit 7, Healthy and Wise. And today, we will learn on how to recite a poem. Our learning objective for today are, by the end of our lesson, people should be able to First, enjoy and appreciate poem. And second, answer at least four questions correctly. Our topic for today is Healthy, Wealthy and Wise. You may refer to your textbook, page 65. Benjamin Franklin once said, Early to bed, early to rise. Make a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Who is Benjamin Franklin? He was an author, publisher, scientist, inventor, and diplomat. And one of his invention is the lightning rod. Atau lebih dikenali sebagai konduktor kilat. Now, let us read the poem. For us to be healthy, wealthy, and wise is more than just hard work. Early to bed, early to rise. We get both pain and perk. For us to be healthy, wealthy, and wise, always eat well and keep fit. Breathe fresh air and exercise. Bad habits we must quit. For us to be healthy, wealthy and wise, avoid fast food and sugary drink. Listen and add on good advice and life will be in the pink. Teacher, I didn't understand the poem. Don't worry, let us look at the poem Line by line. For us to be healthy, wealthy and wise. Untuk kita menjadi sehat, kaya dan pintar. It's more than just hard work. Bukan sekadar gigih berusaha. Early to bed, early to rise. Tidur dan bangun awal. We get both pain and perk. Kita dapat melalui suka duka kehidupan. For us to be healthy, wealthy and wise. Untuk kita menjadi kaya, sihat dan pintar. Always eat well and keep fit. Makan secara sihat dan kekal cergas. Breathe fresh air and exercise. Hirup udara segar dan bersenam. Bad habits we must quit. Amalan buruk harus kita tinggalkan. For us to be healthy, wealthy and wise, untuk kita menjadi sihat, kaya dan pintar. Avoid fast food and sugary drinks. Hindari makanan segera dan minuman bergula. Listen and add on good advice. Dengar dan ikuti nasihat yang berguna. And life will be in the pink. Dan hidup kita akan kekal sihat dan ceria. Now, we are going to learn about similes. Similes are a lot of fun to use. In fact, you probably already use similes, maybe even without realizing it. 
you might be wondering what are similes. Now, how could I use them if I don't even know what they are? Similes are actually a way of comparing things using the words like or as. We compare things all of the time. Look at this comparison. The baby sleeps like a koala. In this sentence, we're comparing the baby to a koala. What's the comparison? The baby sleeps like a koala. That is a comparison. Look at this comparison. His sister is as gentle as a lamb. The comparison is between his sister and the lamb. And the gentleness is what makes them similar. His sister is as gentle as a lamb. That's a comparison. Let's look at both of our comparisons again. The baby sleeps like a koala. And his sister is as gentle as a lamb. You want to know something interesting about this comparison? This comparison are similes. That's right, both of the, these sentences are similes. You see, similes are comparison that use the word like or as. If there's a comparison that uses the word like or as, then you know that comparison is a similis. Now, you can use the word like or the word as in your comparison to make your own similis. Isn't that awesome? Now, let us look at some other examples of similis. As free as a bird. As busy as a bee. As brave as a lion. As white as snow. As cool as a cucumber. As proud as a peacock. As happy as a lark. As big as an elephant. As fit as a fiddle. And as wise as an owl. We can also use several similes for an adjective. For example, as happy as a, as happy as a king. Or as happy as a clam. As black as. As black as coal. As black as the night. As white as. As white as wool. Or as white as shit. All of this seems familiar. Hmm, macam pernah dengar je. Similis in BM is perumpamaan. You have learned perumpamaan in BM. Phrases like bijak seperti kancil dan lambat seperti kura-kura are same as similis. Wow! He is as happy as a clam. Because he know what similis are now. Teacher Yad is as happy as a king. When she knows her pupils enjoy her lesson. That's the end of our lesson. For tutorial, answer these questions. Do it in your E1. Question number one. What is the poem about? The poem is about how to be. Second question, state three ways to be healthy, wealthy, and wise. A. B. 
Si. Cari dalam poem, ya. Question number three. Find the meaning of the words or phrases. You may use the dictionary. A. Wise. B. Perk. C. Quit. D. In the pink. Question number four. Use the words below to form similes. For example, free. As free as a bird. So you must uh, use the word wise, happy and fit to form a similis. I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. You are awesome and as wise as an owl. That's all. Bye.